When it comes to PC gaming, there's no contest. Steam is the largest gaming platform in the industry, with a huge game library ranging from text-based indie games to AAA, multi-billion dollar franchises. Steam allows you to purchase games digitally and download and install them directly from the platform, eliminating the need to go to a store and buy physical cards or games. The platform also makes it easier for you to monitor your playing time and to view how much time you actually spend playing games. If you're looking to do just that, you've come to the right guide. To check how much time you spent playing a game on Steam, start by launching the Steam app on your PC, then select Library from the top menu. Click on the game you want to view, then look for the Playtime menu found under the game's banner, along with the last date played. If you haven't played the game yet, neither of these options will display. You can also check how many hours you've put over all games over the last two weeks by hovering your mouse over your profile at the top of the screen, then selecting Profile. Look for the Recent Activity menu on your profile to view how many hours you've played recently, along with your last three games. If you're trying to check your total playtime over all games in your Steam library, you don't need to manually add up your hours. Instead, you can use a third-party site like SteamGage or SteamTime to check your time played. Using a third-party site will require you to make your profile and game details publicly available in order for the site to read your game time. To set your profile and game details to public, select Username from the desktop app at the top right of your screen, then select View My Profile from the drop-down menu. Next, click the Edit Profile button to the right of your profile image. Select My Privacy Settings, then set My Profile and Game Details to Public. You can repeat these steps to change them to either Friends Only or Private after checking your total playtime. With your profile set to Public, you'll need your Steam ID in order to use either Steam Gauge or Steam Time. Use a site like SteamIDFinder.com to get your Steam ID number by entering your custom URL if you have one. Then copy and paste that number on either Steam Gauge or Steam Time, depending on your personal preference. If you liked this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Steam and other technology. And do not forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.